So let's take a look at the game with Louis Paulson playing white and Paul Morphy playing black. And Paulson, as was the custom in those days, played the pawn to e4. And Morphy played pawn to e5. And this is exactly what one would expect from Morphy. Morphy was an adherent of what's called the open game, where the pieces come out quickly and developed classical, simple moves. He never really tried anything fussy or pretentious in the opening. And Paulson was a scientific player, no king's gambit for him. He just developed his knight in the normal way, attacking the black pawn on e5. And Morphy defended the pawn, also bringing out a piece. Ray, do you find similarities between the style of Morphy and, say, Bobby Fischer, the sort of beautiful simplicity seems to be? Yes, I think that's a, 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 an excellent point. And I remember a few years ago seeing a series of, of video tapes that Bobby Fischer made in Yugoslavia in the late 1960s. And it was Bobby Fischer demonstrating games to the public in Belgrade. And interestingly, he chosen a whole series of Morphy games to demonstrate. I mean, games that people had almost forgotten or regarded as too simple to be. So it's not a fanciful notion, there was. There. Not at all, no. Yeah. I mean, Fisher, Fisher studied Morphy, and I think that um, one of his often stated opinions was that if Morphy were able to come back, reincarnate himself mm -hmm. with modern knowledge and technique, he would have been able to beat everybody nowadays. And uh, you're quite right about that. And uh, Paulson developed a knight, not the sharpest move. And nowadays, people tend to play the Roy Lopez with bishop b5. And Morphy brought out his knight. This is the four knights game. And it's really quite an unpretentious opening. But at least white is getting his pieces out. And Paulson played this. And now, modern theory tends to recommend the move, this bishop coming to b4. And in modern chess, it's usually regarded as a success if uh, between two players of strong grandmaster level the black player can get equality and, and make a draw because the force of the white initiative is so great and this move bishop b4 is really designed to maintain the balance and get a draw but morphy in those days wasn't interested in a draw at all <laughs> let's put the bishop back where it came from and what he played was the much sharper move bishop to c5 and in some senses, this is rather dubious. Um, it exposes black to all sorts of dangers. And in fact, the way Paulson plays now is not at all bad. He finds a very surprising move, uh, one that most people wouldn't play, but one that um, is actually rather dangerous for black. He, he first castled, brought his king into safety, and black did the same. And then Paulson played this rather surprising move. Knight takes the pawn on the e5. Now, we should pause for a minute and try and work out what's going on here. 